Hello, friends. Uh, it's your boy Jeff here again with you on a beautiful, sunny, 55 degree day in Chicago on February 2nd. Yeah, we've left we've left orbit. We're heading for the sun. I'm I'm convinced it's not supposed to be this warm this time of year. But anyway, uh, this is a, a quick video that I've actually been putting off making. And I'll explain why in a second. Um, uh, this is all about uh, some VCLT that I've received over the last month that I want to thank the people publicly. Um, and a couple of records that I picked up at the uh, Barnes & Noble half-off sale over the last month. So forgive my bad manners for ha taking this long, but um, I got a pack of 10-inch sleeves from Bill at the Vinyl Verse uh, last, I think it was like towards the end of December, like like right after Christmas, either either right before or right after Christmas, and um, he sent me these to use for my 78s, which is awesome, and I've used probably about half this pack already, and I have like two or three other like 10 inch records that I've used them for too, so... Um, Thank you, Bill. These came in handy. And this is something I never would have bought for myself. And I think I may have said that in one of my videos. I'm like, I'm not going to buy a whole pack of 10-inch sleeves just because. And he did it for me. So thank you very much. Um, I also got a very nice uh, little note and a guitar pick here from Emma over at, here's the note, over at 8 Vinyl Low. Um, she collects guitar picks, and this was one from uh, Buddy Guy's Club Legends here in Chicago. So she had a spare one and sent it to me, just on a whim, just a, as a nice thing to do. So thank you very much for that, Emma. Um, I also got an envelope from Red over at Redco Music. I'll try to not show the address but you can see he used one of those cool John Lennon stamps which I was never able to get a hold of um, before they sold out but I did grab the 50th anniversary Woodstock um, stamps which I used to send my Christmas cards out with to my VC people so I still have a few of those left so that's cool um, he sent me a uh, a CD that contained he, he asked he asked if my if it could play mp3 format and I'm I wasn't quite sure what he was talking about but he sent me this he sent me this this disc here which contains these box sets it contained the uh, keep an eye on the sky by Big Star uh, pure McCartney by Paul McCartney and as a bonus uh, the Egypt Station album by Paul McCartney. So, um, I tried extracting these from the disc so I can put them onto my iPod, and I was successful with the Egypt Station album. I was able to get that. The Pure McCartney, there were a couple tracks that just wouldn't download for some reason, so I ended up skipping them. I think there were like two or three or maybe four tracks on the uh, Pure McCartney set that I had to leave behind. But I got the majority of it. The Big Star was probably less successful. I think I was only able to get just a couple tracks, and it kept hanging up and, and hitching up, and it wouldn't extract the files for me. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But I'll, I'll probably try again later on down the road. But thank you, Red, for sending this to me, because I was able to put those other McCartney... Um, sets onto my iPod and I've basically worked my way through the pure McCartney one which is really good to do when you're driving which is primarily what I use my iPod for it's it basically lives in my car except when I have to charge it or add more music to it so and of course he puts his famous poke on the envelope <laughs> so um yeah I just wanted to publicly thank the three of you for your BCLT recently. It's very much appreciated. 
Um, the reason I put this make put off making this video is that I was expecting a package from Hannah, the Omaha introvert, and that package is still MIA. Um, I actually was able to get a hold of the regional manager for my area uh, in, the, in the post office, and despite his best efforts, he can't tell me where the package is. I guess it was last physically scanned on January 22nd, um, somewhere, somewhere in Palatine, Illinois, which is not too far for me, but um, it's been missing ever since. So I don't know if it's ever going to show. I don't know if it's ever going to be like returned or what happened to it. Nobody seems to be able to tell me in the post office. So Hannah, if you're watching this, I appreciate you sending it to me, but it never made it. So, but I still appreciate the thought. Um, yeah, nobody, nobody seems to know what happened to this package. It just like disappeared somewhere. So we're going ahead on. Um, on eBay, I got, I picked up actually, um, I picked up an Albert Collins album here. Uh, it's his 1983 album called Don't Lose Your Cool. Um, filling in another hole in my Albert Collins collection. There's the back cover. You'll be seeing this uh, popping up in a spin zone sooner than later. I can guarantee you that. And you can, as you can see, it's a cutout copy, but it was cheap. And the record inside is in very minty, nice condition. So that makes me happy. Um, just to show you how retarded I am. I um, had another auction that I was watching for another Collins album. And I thought I threw a bid in on it. And I hadn't. <laughs> and I, it got to down to the very end. It was down to the last few minutes. And I got a notification from eBay saying this auction is ending. So I'm like, okay. I look at it. I'm like, wow, the price hasn't changed. Okay. So I'm sitting there and watching it and watching it and watching it until it ended. And then it tells me, sorry, you missed out on this item. I'm like, what? I never put a bid in. That's how, that's how dumb I am. Oh, well, his albums aren't all that hard to find. And I think there's only a couple more that I need. So this was a nice, um, nice little get to fill in the rest of my collection. Then I'm teaching my 15 year old daughter, Molly to drive. So I've been thinking up of different places to go for her to drive me. And of course, I'm taking advantage of that. And we hit up a couple of Barnes, Barnes and Nobles to see if there's anything good left in their 50% off sale. <clears throat> actually, uh, right, at, right after the holidays, I actually went to one of the Barnes and Nobles and I found this Bob Dylan set. Uh, called Trouble No More. I posted this on the social medias and it's a four disc set with a booklet and it also comes on CD in this set too. And I listened to the first CD. I actually took it with me to work one night and I listened to the first one. And um, for those of you that don't know, uh, this is uh, every year lately for the last seven or eight years, I think, um, Dylan's been putting out a bootleg series set around the end of the year, like around the holidays. And this was the one from 2017, I think. And uh, this set is all about his brief foray as a Christian. He converted to Christianity in the late 70s, and there were like three albums of his, three or four, that were all of a Christian rock more theme. And this set features um, live performances of those songs. So it's um, it's kind of like a lost period in Dylan's catalog. It's It wasn't very highly critically regarded at the time from what I've read. But earlier this year, I got uh, one of those albums um, called Saved, which I found at an estate sale. And I listened to it, and it really wasn't that bad. I don't know why people were bashing it. Um, 
you know, no, it's not as, as good as his 60s stuff or Blood on the Tracks or any any other favorite album that you might have of his, but it wasn't horrible by any stretch, and I I could easily see myself listening to it again. So um, I'd been interested in getting this set, and it was on my Amazon wish list for the longest time. I kept waiting for the price to drop enough to a point where I would want to pick it up, and it never really did. So when I saw this for half off at one of the Barnes & Nobles, it was the cheapest price that I've seen it anywhere. So... Um, and it's very rare to get the better deal at Barnes & Noble, believe me. So 50% off was probably the only way I would have bought this set. So uh, here's the back. And um, this, I mean, he's got a, a tight band backing him. You know, he's got background singers. And it's, it's a very polished, you know, top flight musical outfit supporting him. And, and his voice isn't, you know, super whiny. You know, he still has a pretty decent voice, and he still sings with conviction. And this is good music, so um, this is probably the best of the of the deals that I got from the Barnes & Noble half-off sale. Trouble No More by Bob Dylan. Then, again, as I said, I was having my daughter drive me around to these different Barnes & Nobles so I can look at what they have left. And a lot of them, a lot of it was picked over, no doubt. But last weekend, I found two albums from the 50% off section and then two other albums that I paid more or less full price for, you know, except I think as a, I'm a, as a member, I think you get 10% off. So there are two other albums that I got the lesser amount off for. But I got a Johnny Winter album in the 50% off section. This is the... Live Bootleg Series Volume 3. Saw this sitting right up front. And of course I couldn't let this one go by. Because you guys know how much I love Johnny Winter. Give you... See if I can zoom in on the songs there that you can see. Without too much glare. This is the Blue Vinyl Edition. So I'll be looking forward to playing this. And then I got the 1985... 86 album... The self-titled Heart album, this is their comeback. You know, when they had the big hair and the big 80s sound. That's okay, because I quite enjoyed this uh, era of their music. And I have I have uh, These Dreams on 45. I know I bought that 45 when that song was on the charts. But that 45 is packed away somewhere. So it's nice to have it here on a easy-to-access album. So I got that for 50% off. Then, the other two albums that I bought for slightly less than that off, I got uh, Versus by Pearl Jam. It's their second album. Containing my favorite uh, Pearl Jam song, which is Daughter. So I picked this up, and my family loves Pearl Jam anyway, so I knew that this album would be a hit with them as well as me. So, got that. And, surprisingly enough, thanks to um, me seeing it in Baraka P-Dub's final tag video, I got Lux Prima by Karen O and Danger Mouse. I saw this on his uh, final tag video. He played a little snippet of it in that video, and I liked it well enough to um, track it down online and, and catch a few more of the tracks. Here's the back. And found that I really enjoyed it. And again, this was one of the cases where I, I saw it just sitting. It was at the it was in the in front in one of the stacks. I just saw that cover and I recognized it and I saw the Obi strip and I'm like, oh yeah, that's the song that uh Paul likes. The album that Paul likes. So paid full price for it. It was like 25 bucks. Minus 10%, so that's okay. I haven't seen this album anywhere else, so sometimes when you see something, you just have to grab it, because you never know, maybe your only chance. So Lux Prima by Karen Owen Danger Mouse is my last thing to show in the Barnes & Noble Hall. So um, thank you all for watching. That's it for this video. 
Um, thank you to Red, Emma, and Bill for your VCLT and Hannah too. Um, maybe that package will show up someday. We never know. <laughs> if it does, I will be sure to do an unboxing video here. Um, I'm running a contest just in other news before I sign off. Um, it's my 70 slash 700 contest and I've already gotten like eight, eight or nine entries in the last few days, which is awesome. Thank you to those people who made entries. And for those of you who haven't, you still have all of February to get in an entry. The deadline is leap year, the 29th. So what I forgot to mention in that contest video, and most of you have done this because a lot of you are contest entry veterans, but if you make an entry, tell me that you made the entry in the comments to that contest video. <laughs> I forgot to specify that in the original video. But most of you have done that. A couple of you haven't, and I've, I came across your comment kind of by accident. So in a couple of weeks, I'll go over um, who I've seen and who is uh, officially entered. I'm also, um, I've also made a playlist of all the vid contest videos, and I'll put a link up to that shortly, probably when I do that update. And um, yeah, everyone seems to be enjoying it and having fun, which is great. Okay, just over 16 and a half minutes, so that's it for me. I'm going to sign off. This is Jeff. Peace. I'll see you hopefully in another day or two. I'm I'm off till Wednesday, so chances are pretty good that I'll be making another video or two in the near future. So we'll see you then. Take care.